Yo, what's going on, everybody? Mr. Viola here, and welcome back to our Mega Mod. It's survival. I'm losing control. It's so hard to do this in, like, uh, K mode or whatever you want to call this. Back to front view mode. But I'm currently playing the floor is lava. That's right. We're floating around our base, trying not to touch the floor. I've kind of been doing this for the last, like, 10 minutes. I, I don't want to admit it. It's kind of sad. But it's actually kind of addictive. This base is so cool for like trying to like zip our way through. You can like, you do like, I don't know. I just been trying to do like little trick shots or everywhere. Trying not to zoom up to. Okay, now I get a little bit stuck whenever we do that. But I was just kind of like, I don't know, zipping through like all of these little pillars. There's so many like little cool little like whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I feel like I'm at like soccer training or something and we're like dipping in and out between the cones. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Just having a little bit of fun. Making the most of this base before it is time to... <gasps> don't do it. Oh, I nearly touched the ground, but we're all good, baby. We're all good. We should go and drop one of these in there just, just for a bit of fun. But uh, yeah, we are getting towards the end of this series. Don't touch the ground. Don't touch the ground. And we're out of there. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I was actually trying to save it there. But uh, yeah, we are. We're getting there. I think this may even be one of the final episodes. It's really, really hard to work out exactly how long is left whenever we're planning one of these things here. I know we don't have a whole lot left. Let's kind of run through a bit of a checklist of what we still want to achieve before we wrap up this series, this world, this, this season nine, this season. This season of modded survival. We've got a few things left to do. I think we've still got a couple myth bosses to take down. Uh, we've obviously still got to take down the final of the Pugnacia bosses, the big boy Hippopotamo. Um, and of course, of course, use his special ability drop, whatever you want to call it, to combine the powers of four of our mechs into one big permanent mega mech. And then we're going to do something with that. We got to find like an end game boss, something to like take down to wrap up the series. Kind of like we did last season for those of you who caught, caught our Jurassic World one. We've also got to go ahead and get the fourth and final of the Parados mini bosses. We've already got Yudas, we've got Drogon, we've got Volcanus. We've got to go and get the fourth one. Maybe we'll do it today. Maybe we won't. Who knows? And last but not least, I guess we've kind of got to get the rest of the Pugnacia bosses. We're missing three right now. The Elemental Titan, we're missing Spinebreaker and Tempest. Yeah, so basically two of the strongest and then the biggest of the bunch. But aside from that, I can't really think of much else that I really want to achieve. I, I honestly, I think we've maybe got three or four episodes tops left, which is kind of sad. It's, it's, it's really, really sad. Um, but if you guys can think of anything else you'd like to see me do before we wind this whole one up, then let me know in the comments, okay? I'm going to be reading through. I'm going to be checking to make sure that there's nothing we're forgetting. Um, but as of right now, we're, we're getting towards the end game and I'm getting emotional. I'm getting sad. I'm getting... It's, I always get a little bit sad whenever we get to these points in the series. But if you guys have enjoyed it, if you're still enjoying it, if you're going to be sad to see it go, but if you're also excited to see what comes next, then let me know by going ahead, punching that thumbs up, making it rain. Those thumbs ups. Now let's get into today's episode. There's a few things I was actually thinking of doing today. One was, was getting the fourth of the Paradise bosses, but we've spent a whole chunk of this week on the Paradise mod. I think what I'm actually considering doing, as crazy as it sounds, I think I want to go up against the Hippopotamus boss. The fourth and final. Fourth and final? Fifth and final. I think it's actually the fifth and five. Sixth? Fifth. Fifth. Definitely the fifth. The Hippopotamus. The final boss of the Pugnation mod. I think it'll be a really, really cool thing to do. And it, it gives us like the missing piece of the puzzle that we need to get us our big mega mech. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if any of our, our current bosses that we've got tamed up over here. I don't know if any of these guys are going to be great for the battle. I kind of wanted to see if it was like worthwhile trying to get a spine breaker or a tempest or something like that. We have pretty much get everything that we need. I think we're just missing a couple blobs of energy. Uh, let's actually have a little peek in here, shall we? We've got all the sacrifices. That part's easy. What we are missing, however, is the energy. Not you, this guy. So we're going to go kill a Broodmother. We're going to go kill an Indominus Rex. And we're going to go kill a Megapithecus. That's not too bad, to be honest. Uh, I, gotta, I, just, I just so happen to have a piece of paper and a pen that I could write those coordinates down on. But I'm going to forget that there. Broodmother, Indominus Rex, Meg Megapithecus. Let's go kill some Primevils. This may very well be the final batch of Primevils that we ever kill, which is kind of sad. Oh, no. Oh, we're getting ready to move on. It's terrifying times, but what are you going to do? Um, 4973 is a good spot. Or, I mean, they're both side by side, pretty much. Doesn't matter which one we kill. They're going to be so easy to find. That's going to be our broodmother. We need an Indominus Rex. Do we have one kind of central? They're both pretty central. I'm going to go for this one right here, though. 5841. And last but not least, Megapithecus, right? 
87.55 or 72.67. They're both... I hate going... I hate going down this part of the map. I... I, I it's, why didn't I just search it? I've literally got the creature finder going now. We may as well just creature find everything. Oh, you dummy. All right, whatever. It is what it is. Who are we going to take out on this little flight about? I think I'm just going to take Volcanus with me. I want to make the most out of these guys before it's time to say goodbye to them. So let's go and do the little rounder. You know what? We're going to start over this way. We're going to go looking for my friend. My foe. I guess... Oh, no, no, no. He's over this way. What are you doing? Oh, come on. I'm so bad at my directions. I still... After spending, what, the last... Pretty much spending the last two months. Two and a half months of flying around this world... And all together, we've spent five months in this world. Because this is my second series that we've ever, like, recorded on this map. Uh, which... Oh, hello. I might as well take down this guy just in case. Uh, that's another Phoenix energy for us. Just in case we need it. Also, oh, there was a Guardian there that I was trying to snipe. But didn't really go according to plan. Anyways, you'd think after spending a total of four or five months on this map. In five, uh, five months. Definitely five months. That I'd know, like, my left from right, my south from north, my east from west. But nope, apparently not. Apparently not. We haven't really learned much. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we're still going to go a little bit westward. We're going to hit 41. Right now. Oh, we're here. We're here. Uh, do I see him? I do not. Why do I not? Because I'm in the wrong spot. 58. Yeah. 58, 41. So he should just be down here somewhere. The downside with Volcanus is it's a little bit hard to control. There he is. Oh, he's so cool looking though. Oh, I've never seen. I've never seen. Oh my gosh. Oh, this guy doesn't deserve to die. He deserves to live. He's so beautiful. That is the most beautiful looking Indominus Rex I think I've ever encountered. Oh my gosh. Oh. If, I, if it was earlier in the series, buddy, I would tame you. I really would. But I just, I don't have any use for you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that, 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 that. Oh, you guys know me. I like my pretty dinosaurs. Killing a pretty dinosaur like that really, really breaks me. But what are you going to do, I guess? What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, it is what it is. Let's keep it going, though. We are heading towards 7267, which should be right here somewhere. I don't see a gorilla yet, but there he is. There he is. He's kind of the same color as the Indominus Rex, except the color scheme doesn't really suit Megapithecus. It's not as beautiful on the Megapithecus as it was on the Indominus Rex. So we're just going to take him down anyways. Uh, let's move on to the third and final of the prime evil energies that we need. The Broodmother. And I don't think I even need this. I don't, I don't need it. We'll be able to find it. It's not hard to find these Broodmothers roaming through the swamp. The swamp is usually a relatively easy area to spot a beast. Um, watch me struggle now. Watch me struggle. I've got no confidence. There he is. There he is. I knew... I, I think I actually... Wait. That was a, no, that was the wrong type of broodmother. I literally saw that broodmother like a week ago. And I was like, whenever I got to kill a broodmother, I'm just going to go kill that one. Well, it was a Parados broodmother, not the Pugnacia broodmother. So am I actually going to need to do this? I'm going to need to do it. All right. All right. Pop the GPS back out. Let's do this. 4973. I'm way off. It's, it's like over here somewhere. He's like all the way over here, as a matter of fact. 4973. Uh, west. Go west. Spinebreaker! Ooh, hello. There's our broodmother. Wow, you were not where I was expecting you to be. But thank you very much for your broodmother energies. Um, you know what? Boom. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. Get... Oh, wait! I gotta be careful. Uh, uh, blue... I forgot about his big old blue bomb. Alright, I've got my health potions, though. Volcanus, I'm not gonna let you die, buddy. Hang in there, son! There we go. Oh, we killed him already. All right, cool. <laughs> Lucky. I think I actually wasted like three or four potions just then. Let's drop another one of them down straight away. All right, well, we took down another boss just for the fun of it, I suppose. Why not? Why not? We're literally wiping the floor with all of these guys at this point. There's nothing to lose. Uh, we got us another sacrifice. We got... Damn, that's a nice helmet. That's, that helmet's so much better than the one that I'm currently using. Thing is, though, it doesn't have the beautiful paint job. And as far as I'm aware, there's no easy way to transfer a paint job from one item to the... Oh my gosh. What a good idea. I feel like we need a mod that does that. Let's say you've got like a really nicely painted helmet or chest piece or any other piece of armor, but you find one with a lot more armor or you find one in a supply drop that's like just absolutely takes dumps on the one that you're wearing and you want to transfer that paint job without trying to mix and match it. 
like you did the first time around. Well, what if you just like copied it across? Is that even possible? Am I just being lazy? Because that's literally something you could just do with like two minutes of your time. But I think I'm just being lazy. So just ignore me. Silly idea. Anyways, we've got our energies. We have our energies. Yes, we do. There we go. All right. And we have everything that we need. So now it's purely just down to what we want to do. What do we want to craft up? Do we want us a Tempest? Do we want a Spine? I'm going Spine Breaker. How do you not? It's going to be Spine Breaker, baby. Spine Breaker returns. Also, I was forgetting something. I forgot something. Hold on a second. I need to sacrifice. Hello, little wild gerbo. What you doing in my base? I've actually spotted a few little, like, random wild fellas roaming through my base lately. I don't know why. I don't even know where they came from. Lord Zuko, let's get you uh, clones, though, buddy. Let's get you cloned up. Then we can sacrifice you along with the rest of the Lord Zukos. Poor guys. I don't know. I, I do feel bad. I do feel bad about all the Lord Zukos we've been sacrificing this series, but uh, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You can't get upset about it. Grind up all of the armor, though. Oh, what a waste of resources. What a waste of resources we're never going to use for anything else. Like, so many resources and just, they're, they're just there. They're just there. They're doing nothing. Oh, here we go. Seven of those, too. Uh, and ooh, we're actually really close to being able to get the fourth of the uh, the Paradise bosses. That's really, really nice. But then again, it's a lot easier to, to find our little Paradise bosses lately. Ever since we found the Manticore trick, which was just flying across the world and just destroying them all. It's, it's so easy. It's so easy. Anyways, Lord Zuko. Where's Lord Zuko number two? He's a minute 49 away. Well, I'm happy to wait. No, I'm not. Wait, uh, there was something, there was something, there was something. We forgot about these last episode. Yes, indeed. Our big Parados XP elixirs. So we're obviously going to have to level up Spinebreaker before we go to war. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get some extra XP elixirs. Let's just craft all 29 of them. What else are we, seriously, what else are we going to use chitin, fiber, height, and stimberries for? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we've got all of that. I'm probably going to need an extra um arena because i think this world has been running too long and i think the existing one is probably despawned and i think that's that i think all we need now is to wait for lord zuko number two to uh tame up which is gonna be one minute well scrap that minute and change it to eight seconds because we are on a mission baby four three two one and zero. Oh yeah all right lord zuko my buddy come back come with me come with me I'm sorry. I, I also don't think you're the last one that's going to get sacrificed because I still need one more mech at some point. But uh, sorry about this, mate. Sorry about this. Get sacrificed, though. Give me my Spinebreaker. Let Spinebreaker be reborn. <laughs> the big boy breaker of spines. Oh, boy. Do I have the biggest of spines for you to break for me today? Let's get you saddled up, big guy. Let's get you leveled up, big guy. All 300 possible levels. Bada bim, bada boom. Let's get you leveled up. So, uh, we are looking at... Oh, I don't even know how much health we're going to give him. I think we'll give him about 5 million. 5 million sounds like a good number. Uh, we're, ooh, wow, I don't actually think we're going to reach 5 million. It took 75 levels to get him to 3 million. So maybe we'll just keep it there for now. We'll put a few into speed. Not that it's like, not that it needs speed. He's a, he's a pretty speedy fella. Maybe I'll get one more in speed. Uh, and then other than that, maybe I'll just put 200 into melee damage. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but it's going to happen. It's got to happen. This guy is going to be a beast. Also, what level is he? Hold on a second. 1,934. Now, that is what I'm talking about. Oh, that's some nice leveling. That's 100 levels into melee damage. Let's put another 100 in. Or maybe just another 50. We'll go to 150. We'll see how much damage he deals. And then I'll decide whether I'm going to give him more health. Or if we're going to put the rest into melee damage. It's a, it's a tough one to decide. Okay, he's not even dealing a million. Oh, okay. No, no, no. We're going to get him to a million at least. I don't think he's going to reach a million damage though. Buddy, power up. Power on. What are you waiting for? Oh, no. You're going to make me get two spine breakers and try and breed you guys or something. Did I put too many levels? Did I put too many levels into health? Hey, Frankiosaurus. I know I said I was going to keep you alive last episode, but... Oh, no. We don't even do one million. It's good enough though. It's good enough. 
It's good enough. Let's go and do this thing. Do I still have my little manticore quill? I do have my ascension manticore quill. Well, let's go and do this thing then. Spybreaker. I hope, I hope it was worth, I hope it was worth it. That's all I can say. I hope it was worth it. Let's get you to our little, oh, the boss arena still exists. Nice. Don't need to craft a new one. Let's get you out there, buddy. It's finally time. I can't believe it. I can't believe we, what is going on over there? Huh. That's, is that one of those raptor dudes? Why is everything on fire? It is a raptor, right? It's guardian, not guardian, reckless. <gasps> the reckless raptor. All right, well, let me take you down before you try and take me down. Those guys with their little fireballs, they're quite devastating. Why is everything trying to attack me right now? Maybe not everything, but what, what's up with the, what's up with you, buddy? What did I do to upset you, little patchy dude? I don't know. But it's time, guys. It is time. The final of the Pugnacia bosses. Let's do this thing. Get the quill in there. Let the fight commence. And in a matter of seconds, we will be facing off the Ascendant Hippo. The final. The fifth and final of the bosses. Or is it the sixth? I don't even know. I've lost count, but let's do this thing. Get it crafted in. I'm stuck on a little compy. Compy. Terrible time to be sitting next to my ankles, buddy. Because... There he is, the giant hippopotamus boss. <laughs> 424 million health. Let me get my little health potions in order. Yep, we've already got them in order. Well, wait, maybe I should chuck some of these in there just in case as well. In case this guy does some sort of poison damage that I forgot about, we'll chuck those there too. And uh, well, I guess the rest is history. It's time to go to war. Well, let's do this thing, buddy. Let's, let's get his attention. Let's get his attention. Yeah. Oh, damn. That deals some good damage. Oh, I forgot this guy's got that mega bomb attack. Also, are we going to be sitting inside of this guy for this entire battle? Yeah. Oh, he deals a bit of damage. He deals a chunk of damage. All right. Let's go. Death bomb attack, baby. Death bomb attack. Also, I'm quickly remembering that I forgot to install. I forgot to install the damage indicator toggler mod. We were talking about it last episode. I just nearly forgot to use my health potion. He got me really low on health there for a second. Um, I got no idea what sort of damage we're dealing, but I figured, who cares? Let's just... Oh, the third track just got defeated. Wait a second. <gasps> he summons in the other bosses. I forgot about that. All right, heal up, heal up. Drop, drop a little death bomber on him. I actually can't move. He's actually got me stuck to the ground. <laughs> this is a horrendously... This is a horrendous battle when it comes to, like, visuals, but... Let's get our butts. Nope, maybe. Uh, e. Ah. Uh. Nope, I can't get away. I can't get away. Fine. Do you want some of this? I'll throw everything I got at you, big guy. I'll throw everything I got at you. How much health you got? But damn, he's still got 300 million. He's still got a ton of health. All right, fine. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Keep dropping them bombs. Take him down. Take him down. There's a reason he is the final boss. Because it's an absolute beast. Not one to be messed around with. Health potion, not gonna wait any longer. All right, come on. I just wanna drop my big ball of death and then just like run away. But I keep getting stuck inside of him. <laughs> he really just sits on top of you. He just sticks that fat gut right on your face and there's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. Well, bring it on, buddy. We got him halfway down at least. That's what matters. Oh, health potion. Nearly forgot what button in my hot bar we actually had it on. Um, I kind of want to do this, though. Hold on. All right, I'm just going to keep on clicking, and I'm going to scroll out. I want to see what this battle looks like from an actual angle that I can see what I'm doing. And I guess that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> that's us completely zoomed out. That's the big hippo boy. We are on top of Spinebreaker, who's already a pretty beastly-sized dinosaur. This guy is just a machine. He's huge. And he's not really taking a lot of time out of his, uh, his day there to, like summon in his little extra minions so i believe what he's meant to do I, mean, I believe he's meant to summon in the other pugnacia bosses to come and find you it's possible he's doing that and we've just been taking them down without realizing yeah tempest tempest be dropping tornadoes on us all right now we're gonna pay attention now we're gonna pay attention oh boy i'm using so many potions right now okay i think i stopped him oh dude the hippo on his own dropped absolute bombs you go and drop tempest and his hurricane on top of that um you're in trouble also, we just got to pray that he doesn't spawn in a spine breaker on us. Because if he if he drops a spine breaker on us um, and, and the spine breaker drops that blue ball of death, it's going to wipe me out in seconds. We learned this the hard way once already. That spine breaker with his blue ball wipes out anything in its pathway. So 
So we're just gonna just take this one step at a time. Gonna pay attention to our health bar. We should be in the closing moments of this though. We've got him down to 60 million health. We just gotta keep, keep it going. Don't get too carried away just yet. Don't get too carried away just yet. 50 million left. Oh, we got this in the bag. As long as we just pay attention. That's all it is. Just don't get distracted. That's what's, that's what's cost us our life so many times already this series. We're not going to make the same mistake again. The last 20 million health. Here we go. The final, the final drops, the final bombs. 10 million left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And he is done. <laughs> yeah. Look at that gelatinous booty jiggling its way away. Nice. <laughs> and just like that, we pretty much defeated the Pugnacia bot, the mod, the mod. We've, we've, we've defeated the mod. That's it. That's the final boss taken down. I know that this is normally... Okay, this is... Okay, this is a bit... This is a bit much. Okay, there we go. I didn't even know he had a name. The Gideoni Epoch. I wonder if that's a reference to something, but... Uh, sorry, buddy. See you later. Nice knowing you. Uh, damn. Oh! Oh, it's another Kraken Sacrifice. It's a duplicate. No! I wanted to... Ah, oh, I was hoping to get Tempest or our Elemental Fella. So if we are to, like, try and get the other two sacrifices, we're basically going to have to refight. I guess we could just try and fight the Broodmother and stuff, right? Really? We could just farm Ascendant bosses until we get the full Pugnacia collection. Um... Or we could just, you know, go kill a bunch of primevals. Even though we kind of said today that we'd kind of finish taking down primeval dinosaurs. I don't know. It doesn't matter. What does matter, though, is we got our hippopotamus chipped tooth. Which is going to allow us to come into our little ascension portal over here. Drop it in there. Open up this fella right here. And we have just about everything that we need. I think. Wait a second. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> we can craft up the Pugnacia M-O-M-I, or mummy, as I like to call it. The Mega Mech Operational Materialization Interface. Damn. It's right there. We can craft it. All I got to do is tap a tap a tap on that button, and we will have ourselves the the item, the interface, the, the mech module that we need to power up the Mega Mech. Just like that. Just like that but we're not going to do that today no i think what i'm going to do i think i think what i what I, what we should do i think i'm going to head back to the ascension portal i'm going to take somebody ridiculous out there maybe even like volcanus or something and i'm going to kill some of the the, the pugnacia bosses maybe oh but then again we need someone who's immune to poison we're going to kill them and see if we can get the sacrifices for tempest and for our elemental titan they're the two guys that we need the only two that we still need uh so we're gonna try our best to do it we're gonna try our best but we before we do that are going to need us oh boy was it 500 elements i thought it was like 5,000 element but maybe not maybe it's 5,000 metal i can't remember the actual sacrifices that we need to do this but i'm just gonna try and remember them and i'll take them over and then we'll, we'll see if we got it right uh we need some polymer i believe or is it obsidian was it obsidian? I think it was polymer. We got it wrong the first time around either way. Let's pull that across. And what was the final thing that we needed? All right, this is going to get derpy, but I'm, I'm actually going to do this right here. Hold on a second. Uh, why am I doing this? All right. We're not going to actually fight it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is access. I need 15, 1,500 element. Oh, and 1,000 polymer and 5,000 metal. Okay, we've, we've, we've got most of those items, I think. I just needed the extra elements. How much element? Wait, how much element have I got? Oh, we got the element. Oh, sweet. All right, let's go and do this thing. Let's go and do this thing. Cross your fingers for me, though, guys. Cross your fingers for me. We are trying to get the two final sacrifices that we need. Now that we've taken down all the Pugnacia bosses, though, with Pugnacia dinosaurs, I don't care as much. We're going to basically just take um, whatever dinosaurs we want. That's kind of how I, that's how I roll with this game, basically. I try to do everything as the mod intends. And then I break out the other dinosaurs from like varying mods and we just go a little bit crazy. That's obviously why we busted out the, uh, what do you call it? Wait a second. I didn't pull the res- Oh, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. Um, I pulled the resources into our resource chamber rather than into my own inventory because I'm a dummy. 
So uh, we actually didn't grab the metal or the polymer because I'm not very bright like that. This time around though, watch this. We're going to do it super duper quickly. I'm going to go like this. No, we're not. Nope. Wait, what? I don't even know what I just did. We did something. That's not what I was trying to do though. What I'm trying to do is this. Pull over. 1,000. No, 5,000. 5,000 metal ingots. Pull over. It was polymer, right? Oh, snap. I don't even know. Just pull over for thousands. Was it a thousand polymer? But it was the other polymer. Or was it obsidian? I think it was obsidian. Oh my gosh. Let's just grab both. I always forget. I always forget. Pull over the obsidian. All right. I got this so wrong, didn't I? Even after double checking that, triple checking that, we're still going to bust this up. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. Show me the money. What do we got? What do I need? What did I need? Uh, metal and a, a, a polymer. It is polymer. Boom. And boom. And let it commence. And get it summoned in. All right, Volcanus. You are about to meet the Ascendant Broodmother. Who hopefully isn't going to be too strong. Yeah, all right. Bring it on, buddy. So, we're lucky we've got our little poison thingamabobbies in our inventory already. Uh, damn, he does quite a bit of damage. He just dealt a million damage on me. How does that even work? All right, you know what? Just get fire breathed. Just get fire breathed. Oh, my God. He obliterates him. Oh, he destroys him. Oh, my gosh. And look at that. My torpor just started increasing, too. Look at that. So, we're actually lucky there. Um, not that we're lucky, but... If that battle had been going on any further, we probably would have taken a lot more torpor. And we would have... Well, we're still going to use our little potion here to drop that. Anyways, uh, what did we get? What was... Ah, oh, third track sacrifice. Not the sacrifice we were looking for. But let's get it in there again. Let's go. Get that in there. Let the fight commence. Let's go. I'm going to keep on fighting these beasts until we get the one that we're looking for. This is the Ascension Boss Roulette, baby. And we're going to wipe through every single one of these guys. <laughs> these boss battles took so long first time around. But now that we're just like breathing insta-fire on them. All right, Mr. Fist of Sacrifice. Not the one that I'm looking for. Not the one I'm looking for at all. All right, let's keep it going. Let the fight commence. Let's go. It's time to take on the dragon this time around. Wait a second. Is it missing one of the battles? Maybe it is. Oh, no, because we've already fought the hippo, of course. I was like, there's only one left after this. And I, I couldn't remember which one it was or what it was missing. It's missing the hippo. All right. What is it with your derpy head? I thought maybe because I'm a flyer that we wouldn't get the old derpy head attack, but nope. We still got it. And we have the Mothra sacrifice. Seriously? Okay. Fine. 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 You want to play that game, do you? Give me the manticore. Give me the manticore. Also, dead dragon just floating away. Let's go, manticore. I'm going to melt you. I'm going to melt you to bits, buddy. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on. You want some of this? Oh, yeah. We're going to be careful here because man uh, manticore, dude, deals poison damage. Also, quite a bit of damage. But not enough to stop me. Thank you very much. Another third track sacrifice? What is going on? I can't get the drop that I need. Uh, let the fight commence. I, like, we've, 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 we've defeated everything. Pick up the Ascension Arena. Fine. Pick it up. Put it back down. I need... Oh, no. Oh, no. I just realized. Oh, no. We can chuck that in there. Let's fight the hippopotamus again. <laughs> I was going to say, we're going to go and get another 5,000 metal and, and polymer and whatever else it was that we needed um, to take on the broodmother again. Why am I not getting these drops that I need? Oh, 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 elemental titan. Give me his sacrifice. He's literally the only sacrifice I need. Where's my elemental titan sacrifice? Uh, I'm trying to breathe fire, but it's not happening. Why aren't I breathing fire on this guy? Breathe fire. Is this guy immune to fire damage or something? I think he is. Oh, well. I'll just use my melee attack. That deals 10 million damage instead. Take you down 10 times as fast as uh, we did earlier. But does it matter? Nope. Sure doesn't. Alrighty. Get it done. Get it done. Come on. This has to give us the sacrifice that we need. If this doesn't give me Tempest or our Elemental Titan Sacrifice, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm going to be very upset. Just give it to me. Give it to me, darn it. Come on. Mr. Fister again. <laughs> What's with all of the double ups? Oh my gosh. I, it, it would almost 
be more it, it would almost be easier for us to just go take down the primevals that we need right now because this is getting a little ridiculous fine you want to play that game though huh you want to play that game let's go pull these across let's do it polymer yeah i'm looking at you grab me another thousand of that metal i'll sacrifice we were just talking about how many resources we got you think five thousand out of my three hundred and sixty thousand metal is going to upset me no no it's not no it's not i was looking for somewhere to throw all of my resources at very carelessly i guess we found where we're gonna spend them all we're gonna spend them farming ascension buses until we get the one single one that we need let's do it let's do it elements where's my elements did i not grab elements i did oh, we got eight thousand element get your polymer in there get your five thousand metal in there let it commence brood mother for the second time today give it to me baby let's do this thing let's do this thing i don't even need to see your health because i know you'll be dead in a heartbeat give me the sacrifice that i need darn it come on come on uh mothra again <laughs> oh wow that actually damaged me um wow all right this is not our day this is not our day uh that boom let's go let it commence get it in there son come on gorilla dude let's go give me my elemental titan or tempest sacrifices i'm tired of whatever else you're giving me literally i think so far we've just killed six bosses i have in my inventory right this second we'll have a look we'll have a look uh kraken all right this is just proving a point okay look at this mothra times two kraken number one and we got the one earlier from the hippo um we obviously got another chipped tooth here as well we got two mr fisters and two tracks we have two of every drop two of every drop what's the next one gonna be are we gonna get a triple up or are we gonna get a we're gonna we're gonna begin another double up there's only one way to find out i should just i should just spawn this thing in at my base at this rate it'd be quicker it'd be quicker to just do it like that all right derpy dragon can't i breathe fire on you no nah, there we go there we go sorry dragon but uh hey your head's a little bit less derpy when i'm up here with you all right come on show me what you got come on come on come on another third track we have our first triple up we actually have a triple up of drops also i had no idea volcanoes can fly underwater that's actually pretty handy that is you know if i were to need to go underwater that is but no we're a bit we're past that we don't need to do that no more but let's go let's go come on come on come on man to god just give me one of them i don't even require where did where did volcanoes go oh volcanoes no what are you doing over there you dummy oh no volcanoes oh we're in trouble uh volcanoes 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 why did you why did you leave me over here buddy oh i can't whistle him uh jay yes no yes come in buddy oh no he's stuck on the outsides <laughs> oh this is the worst nightmare ever oh no super jump turned on what's super jump wait a second well volcanoes can't get in so i guess i'm gonna have to fight with my own two hands or something that's not gonna go well um but super jump oh hold on a second Where's my, where's my, where's my Bible? Where's my little Pugnisha Bible? It's not the time to be doing something like that. Oh, I need thatch. I don't think I've got any trees in here though, do I? Uh, well, can I turn the fight off? Is that possible? Can I, can I, can I do that? Let me just pull my resources out. Pick up Ascension Arena. Hey, all right. We can just do that, I suppose. All right, Volcanus, where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Wow, you're fast. All right, well... I don't think we're getting our drops today, unfortunately. It was worth the shot. I thought from the 10 that we took down, we'd eventually get one. I was actually, I was actually, part of me was actually, um, I was expecting the hippo to give me, what's his name? Spinebreaker. I was like, you know, like, of course, right as we craft ourselves a Spinebreaker, it would make so much sense for the game to be like, here's a Spinebreaker. But no, 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 no. It decided to just give us many double ups instead <laughs> two fisters two krakens three trikes two mothras two chipped teeth and a bunch of loot well like i said 
I want to go and check out what this super jump thingamabobby is. So let's have a little peek at that real quick. Uh, can I equip this? Not equip it. I just want to want to open you up. There we go. Okay. So I guess what it's well, what it's telling me is we've got the ascension. Uh, uh, let me just type in buff instead. I assume we've just got the ascendant ascension buff. It provides you with a permanent buff that reduces all of your item weights by 80%. Whoa! Gives you a jump buff that is high enough to jump over diner gateways. This can be disabled by pressing left alt. Pressing that will shoot a projectile. Uh, you will also provide you with a large amount of hyper... Oh, cool. So, let me test that out. Let me test that out. If I press this... Oh, snap! That's kind of like the shoulder cannon that came with Genesis, isn't it? It's also like Spinebreaker's attack. But I wonder if this inspired the shoulder cannon. This, ah, oh, that'd be so cool if it just like attached the shoulder cannon to your shoulder. No, no, no. Ah, I just press J. I think I stopped it just in time for all of my dinosaurs not to go too crazy though. Oh gosh, what a relief. Um, but then the super jump. I want to test out the super jump. How's that? What's that do? How's the left alt, right? Oh, shift alt. Oh, there we go. Super jump turned on. How's the super jump work? Am I just... Am I just... Am I just dumb and I don't know how to super jump? <laughs> did it tell me how to super jump? Because I swear it didn't. Um, Equip. Let me try that again, hey? If I type in super jump? Super trank. No! Also, how have I not used those yet? It doesn't tell me how to super jump. It just says left alt to disable it. Oh man, I want to try out the super jump. Why won't it work though? Is it my armor? Or am I just really dumb? I feel like I, it's, it's something really obvious. And I'm just really stupid. There we go. Super jump turned on. It's not happening. No super jumping. Ah, well, it is what it is. Guys, we are going to call it a day right here. Also, I'm about to lose my electric dragon, aren't I? But it don't matter. If you did enjoy this video, then please go ahead. Punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Guys, I love you all. Keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.